So I've mentioned on my channel a few times in the last couple of months that I am going to be starting a veg patch this season and I'm really really looking forward to it and I'm kind of itching to start some seeds off. So we are in the second week of February now and next week is when I'm going to start sowing all of my cut flower seedlings and I'm going to be very busy so I'm going to cheekily start off a couple of veg seeds today because um, I kind of just want to make it feel like the dream is becoming a reality and um, I just want to get some things going in pots in this greenhouse. So this greenhouse you might be familiar with it if I if you've been watching my channel for a while and this is my um, green, initial greenhouse that was first put up when I started the flower farm and this has become redundant now for the flower farm because I'm putting up a second greenhouse around the back of the farm and this is going to be purely for vegetables and kind of just stuff that I want to to do on my uh, for my garden and things like that so um, today I'm going to just sort through my seeds and see what what's possible to sow today and um, get those things off to a good start Another thing that I'm really looking forward to with the veg patch is that I'm going to also sow some flowers for companions to go with the vegetables, for pollinators and things like that. And it's going to be really nice to just have those flowers there in the veg patch in, and enjoy them without having to cut from them. So I've, I, I've mentioned in a couple of videos, I think maybe last week's video, I'm not growing sunflowers as a crop for cut flowers this season, but I'm going to put some in the veg patch. So I'm really looking forward to just watching those branch out and produce lots of flowers and not having to do a great deal with them. I can just enjoy them and see them um, here. The, this is my uh, area that's going to be a veg patch. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm going to grow some things like um, dill, maybe some amaranthus and things like that. So. I can just enjoy those. A couple of other things that I'm looking forward to growing but not picking is dill. Um, it's good. It's a good cut flower. I have used it before as a cut flower, but I'm not growing it this year as a cut flower. But I do really enjoy seeing it because it's really nice and structural. It's kind of like a cottage garden-y type of flower. Um, and also sweet peas. I hate growing sweet peas for cut flowers just because they're so um, hard to cut and the stem length is always a bit dodgy and stuff like that. They smell amazing. So I'm looking forward to having those as, as an enjoyable kind of thing to look at on the veg patch. And also some marigolds I'm looking forward to growing and things that I usually don't grow because they're not getting tall enough as a cut flower. Um, I can have a go at experimenting growing with them because it doesn't matter what the stem length is. So these are the garlic that I started off a couple of weeks ago and they're all sprouting up quite nicely, which is good. Um, I'm hoping that they're going to get enough uh, of a cold period to form the bulbs properly because I did sow them quite late. So this is my veg and veg patch flower seed collection box here. Um, and I've just got a couple of things out here like amaranthus. These are old seed packets from last year. Nasturtium Bloody Mary, I grew that in a, just a, in a container in the garden last year and it was amazing. So I'll grow that again. Um, got some dill there and some sweet peas there's some chamomile there i'm going to give that a go um oregano broad beans monge to artichokes you know i love artichokes gherkins squash i've got lot, quite a lot of different types of squash and melons and things that i want to give go, give a go at leeks more squash, more squash, radish, and I've gone with real seeds because I wanted to pick heritage and heirloom varieties because um, I feel like they're probably a little bit more nutritious than the kind of varieties that are um, available that are hybrids and, and modern breeds. So I've gone with some good old um, varieties and I'm looking forward to eating lots of those this year. So this is what I am planning on getting sown today. So I've got peas, lettuce, sweet peas, nasturtium, onion. I've already sown some onions, but I'm going to put some more on the heat mats. Broad beans, cornflowers, and some snapdragons. I actually found this bonus snapdragon seed um, packet in the drawer that I haven't accounted for on the cut flower patch. So that can go um, in the veg patch this year. Um, and then I'm going to be doing tomatoes, peppers, and aubergines on the heat mats. 
So these are the varieties I've got. Sweet Pea, Earl Grey, Sweet Pea, Cathy. I don't actually know if there's that many in the seed packets there, but it doesn't really matter. Um, this nasturtium, Gins, Tangerine, Tomato, Chadwick Cherry, Early Sweet Pepper, Orange Banana, Tomato, Red Onion, Bunching Salad Onions, Broad Beans, Blue Be Beauty Vine Tomato, they've got lots of tomatoes, <laughs> I don't know if that's a mistake, uh, Yellow Onions, Butterhead, Lettuce, Dwarf, Sweet Pea, no, Dwarf, Early Pea, uh, red iceberg lettuce, check early aubergine, shallots, flowers, and a tall climbing pea. And some, there's some peas there, bonus peas. So yeah, let's get sewing. So although I am kind of new to veg growing, I've done it a little bit before, but not much. Um, obviously I'm quite experienced with growing flowers and things that work and things that don't. Um, I, I'm not sure how different it's going to be but um, I'm going to try and kind of follow the same principles that I do with cut flowers to try and um, hopefully have a successful growing season. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is some good seed starting compost and if you watch my other videos then um, you'll know that I like to add a biological element to all of my seed starting mixes so in this mix here I've got some Melcourt Silver Grow or Silver Mix seed starting compost mixed with 20% worm castings and I also had a little bit of biochar left in this tub so I put some of that leftover biochar in there. So I'm just going to fill up these trays and get sowing lettuces and things in these smaller trays. So I've sown um, a couple of rows of lettuce there and some cornflower at the back and then half of this tray is dill and the other half is snapdragons and I am just going to put on these uh, onions because they're kind of looking not very good in the soil box so I'm going to prick them out into this tray and then I'm going to sow beans and peas and things into these larger pots because I think they need a little bit more room for growth. I'm going to have a go at sewing these sweet peas into these egg cartons and they're in a tray with no holes in the bottom so if there is water sitting on the bottom there they can soak it up through the cardboard and into the plant so that'll be an interesting little experiment to do. So I've got everything that can handle the cool weather planted here so just to recap uh, I've got lettuce, some cornflowers some snapdragons, dill, potted on the onions. And then I've got some uh, peas, a tall variety and a dwarf variety, some broad beans, some nasturtiums, some sweet peas, uh, some more sweet peas in there and a different type of pea there. Um, now I'm moving on to the heat loving things. And this is gonna go under my grow lights on a heat mat at I think about 25 degrees or something like that 
So I've got uh, aubergine and then all the different types of tomatoes and a pepper. So I'm probably going to sow a few seeds just into the top of each of these pots and I'll prick them out later on. Um, so they've obviously got quite a lot of room in these pots but uh, this is the only thing I could find that would sit into this tray here because when I'm on the heat mats I have to water this and all the water is obviously going to fall into that tray. All of my other trays um, don't have a, a bottom that I can put under them that isn't going to let water through onto the heat mat and onto my workbench. So there's my hot loving plants under there and I'm just going to rather crudely put that on just to keep a bit of moisture in there, a bit of humidity to help them germinate and hopefully we'll have some germination in the next couple of weeks. So there we go, I've got all of my seeds sown that I'm going to sow this February. I'm looking forward to next month, which is March, and I'm going to be sowing things like leeks, carrots, beetroot, um, more exciting stuff. So I'm really looking forward to keeping you updated this season on the veg patch, and I'm really looking forward to eating some good healthy food grown in a regenerative farming way that's going to hopefully be really good for us um, me and my family so um, I am looking forward to keeping you updated because I'm not used to growing veg I would appreciate any tips and tricks I've been really enjoying watching um, Hugh Richards and Charles Dowding on YouTube lately and I especially love Charles Dowding's videos of um, when he takes it from seed to harvest of particular varieties so that's actually something that's given me inspiration of um, videos to make this summer so I would love to take you on the journey through from seed to harvest for specific cut flower varieties like I don't know cosmos snapdragon zinnias so I will um, definitely be filming all throughout the summer to be releasing lots of those videos for you this summer thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one